Reverend Insanity. Chapter 491, Expansion of the Wolf Group. What Fang Yuan was most concerned about was air bubble fishes situation. The lakes where air bubble fishes were placed on was carefully selected by Little Who Immortal. Above these three lakes were the starry clouds where there was the most dense amount of star fragment grasses and also large numbers of starlight fireflies. The air bubble fishes grew on these lakes where there were no water wolf groups and even the numbers of blue crucian carps were very few. These three lakes were personally protected by little who immortal to let as much precious air bubble fish grow smoothly from the fish rows and mature. Now, there were many newly hatched fishes moving about these lakes. These baby fishes were similar to goldfish with round bellies, small and pointed head and tail. However, it was not brightly colored as a goldfish and was mostly milky white. It also did not have the wavy fins and tail. Their tails were small and exquisite. Moreover, their swimming method was different from other fish species. These baby air bubble fishes were moving while bobbing up and down. If there is no big change at around the end of this year, Eastern Sea's air bubble sea will be poisoned because of a fight between goo immortals. The price of air bubble fish in Treasure Yellow Heaven will greatly increase. But I don't have enough air bubble fishes for my own use, let alone sell them in a short period of time. Fang Yuan pondered. Whether it was the Starlight Firefly Goo or Air Bubble Fish, they were both long-term investments. It would require at least a hundred years for him to start receiving the profits. Regarding the knowledge in breeding Air Bubble Fish, Fang Yuan did not buy it from outside. With his know-hows from his past life, he could increase the reproduction rate of the Air Bubble Fishes by 30%. That is to say, he was at forefront among Goo Immortals at this. Fang Yuan was satisfied from this inspection. He praised Little Hu Immortal, causing her to feel extremely happy. Her face reddened and her snow-white tail excitedly wagged. However, Dang Hun Mountain was still in a worsening condition. Standing on Dang Hun Mountain, Fang Yuan could sense a kind of dying aura. This caused Fang Yuan's mood to become grave. Dang Hun Mountain was the most valuable thing in the whole Hu Immortal Blessed Land. Starlight Firefly Goo or Air Bubble Fish could never be able to compare to it. Fang Yuan returned to Dang Hun Palace and summoned Little Hu Immortal, activating Connecting Heaven Goo to link up with Treasure Yellow Heaven. Just as they connected, several divine scents were transmitted. Are you selling gruel mud or not? I will add a pair of whole earth goo on top of goo recipe. Although my remnant recipe only has a treasure light of 65 feet, but I can give some hairy men as complimentary. Everything can be discussed. These divine senses were all regarding the transaction for gruel mud. Fang Yuan had put large amounts of gruel mud for sale before, directly requesting Immortal Goo Gruel Mud's recipe as the exchange. As this concerned Immortal Goo, this transaction had attracted many attention. Although gruel mud is one of the necessary materials to refine the immortal goo, but the goo recipe's value is no doubt many times higher than gruel mud. These goo recipes they want to exchange for have already reached the highest price. Fang Yuan took a glance and knew the time for the transaction was ripe. The prices everyone gave had reached the maximum amount possible, with little difference between them. Fang Yuan looked at the prices but took a fancy upon one side. The other was called Immortal Mud Feet. His Immortal Gruel Mud Remnant recipe had a 65 feet high treasure light. This level of treasure light was a bit lower than the other competing bidders, but the message he left showed he could add some hairy men to complement for this difference. Normally, Goo Immortals raised hairy men to help them in refining goo. With the help of a large number of hairy men, Goo Immortals would not lack rank 5 Goo, but they would have to keep on trying for Immortal Goo. Treasure Yellow Heaven transacted slaves and hairy men were one of the most popular among them, with price that was often higher than slaves of other races. Rockmen could not even be mentioned together with them. Fang Yuan had already intended to buy some hairy men back at Lang Ya Blessed Land. Thus, he had been excited when he saw those hairy men at Lang Ya Blessed Land. 
Unfortunately, Lang Yalan's spirit did not yield in selling them, and Fang Yuan could do nothing about it. Now, he required a large number of wolf enslavement goo. He already obtained rank 1 to rank 5 wolf enslavement goo recipes from Lang Yalan's spirit. He only lacked these hairy men to help him refine them. If it was only him and little who immortal who refined the goo, they might not be able to refine the amount he required even in two three months. Immediately, little who immortal conveyed the divine sense. Immortal Mudfeet also happened to be present, immediately replying, I am willing to add in ten thousand hairy men. But Fang Yuan was disappointed when he looked at the goods, Although you are giving a lot of hairy men, they are all young ones and won't be a big help in refining goo. What I need is the old hairy men. Old hairy men? Then the quantity will be decreased. Immortal Mudfeet pondered before replying. In these years, the hairy men's population in his blessed land had reached an excess, so he was trying to get rid of a batch and was thus selling them cheaply. After a round of haggling, Immortal Mudfeet finally agreed to sell over 3,000 old hairy men and over 7,000 young hairy men to Fang Yuan. For this, Fang Yuan had to add in half an Immortal Essence Stone. The transaction was finished. Fang Yuan checked the remnant recipe of Immortal Goo Gruel Mud. The recipe was indeed damaged with only 60% of the contents in it and the contents in it should moreover have been tampered by immortal mudfeet many times which required Fang Yuan to comb through them for the real contents. This was not surprising. Immortal Gu recipe was very precious, and if it was him who sold them, he would also tamper it like this. Although the treasure light would decrease after the tampering, the competition between Gu immortals was precisely like this. With this remnant recipe, I have a foundation to deduce the complete recipe for Immortal Goo Gruel Mud in future. It will be much easier than deducing it with no foundation. More importantly, Immortal Goo Gruel Mud is with me. As long as I don't use it, no one will be able to refine the goo. I can still keep on selling the gruel mud and profit. But he could not bring the Immortal Goo Gruel Mud to who Immortal Blessed Land for the moment. After Fang Yuan left Lang Ya Blessed Land, he used many methods to cover the immortal Gu's aura and bury it. This was something he had no other way to deal with. Before he became a Gu Immortal, he could only deal with it like this. Most of the Gu Immortals who purchased these Gruel Mud wanted to refine immortal Gu. Unfortunately, it was impossible for them to reach their objective. Fang Yuan continued to put Gruel Mud for sale while checking the wolf groups. Wolves possessed very strong reproductive ability, and most of the blessed lands would get rid of the surplus every once in a while. Thus, there were many Gu Immortals selling wolf groups in Treasure Yellow Heaven. The wolf group suffered a huge loss in the battle with the three tribes, I need to replenish the number of myriad beast kings. A. Someone is actually selling wolf emperor. Fang Yuan was pleasantly surprised. The structure of beast groups was quite simple. They were separately classified into Ordinary Beasts, Hundred Beast King, Thousand Beast King, and Myriad Beast King. Above Myriad Beast King was Beast Emperor. Rank 5 Wild Goo resided in the Beast Emperor's body. They had the battle strength of a Rank 5 and could control Myriad Beast Kings. Jing Ming and Ba Huang whom Fang Yuan used in the Three Kings' Blessed Land were Dog Emperors. These two dog emperors were able to help him to hold off the attacks of rank 5 Gu masters. Unfortunately, Fang Yuan was later occupied with escaping for his life and could not attend to them. He did not know if they were killed in the battle or were taken in by others. Normally speaking, very few Gu immortals would sell beast emperors, as the beast emperors were a reflection of the blessed land's strength. Fang Yuan looked at the particulars and realized the reason. It turned out that this was an old beast emperor with wounds all over its body. The wild goo on it were badly damaged with only two three remaining. It seems a new wolf emperor appeared in the night wolf group and fought with the old wolf emperor. This old wolf should have been killed by the young wolf emperor, but the goo immortal moved at the crucial time and put this old wolf emperor for sale. Fang Yuan guessed the reason correctly. 
but even so, this old wolf emperor still got three bidders. Divine sense kept on exchanging and finally, Fang Yuan used two immortal essence stones to buy this old night wolf emperor along with over 18,000 night wolves. Then, Fang Yuan continued to buy 30,000 turtleback wolves and 10,000 wind wolves. Among them, there were two turtleback myriad wolf kings and one wind wolf myriad wolf king. Adding in the previous wolf group, Fang Yuan's wolf group reached 100,000. This is the benefits of having a blessed land. I can stand on the shoulders of Gu Immortals and casually transact beast groups, instantly recovering their size and also would not have to worry about feeding or logistics problem. But a hundred thousand is still few. Ma Zun, Yang Poying and Zhang Baoya, these enslavement path masters have beast groups of at least 400,000 beasts especially Zhang Baoya who had over 650,000 beasts in his prime. The hero's assembly was to begin where heroes rose and vied for supremacy. Fang Yuan knew he was unable to avoid competing with these people with his identity as Cheng Shan Yin, so he had to expand his wolf group further. Fang Yuan started to buy again, buying 10,000 water wolves which contained one water wolf myriad beast king and 6,000 wolf kings. Then he carefully pondered for a while and finally decided on vermilion flame wolves. He bought 80,000 vermilion flame wolves from different Gu immortals. In northern plains, vermilion flame wolves were quite rare compared to turtleback wolves, wind wolves and night wolves. Vermilion Flame Wolf had red fur all over its body which shone like fire. They attacked fierce and quick and had flame path goo worms on them. They could very easily destroy the grassland and create an inferno. If one could use this superiority properly, they could cause enormous casualties to the enemy. Fang Yuan's plan was to have a wolf group of a hundred thousand Vermilion Flame Wolves. He only got eighty thousand after buying from everyone, so the task of buying the remaining 20,000 was given to Little Who Immortal. Six Vermilion Flame Myriad Wolf Kings, one Water Wolf Myriad Beast King, three Turtleback Myriad Wolf Kings, two Wind Wolf Myriad Beast Kings, one Mutated Beast White Eye Wolf, and one Night Wolf Beast Emperor. Fang Yuan surmised his wolf group's batter strength had increased by tenfold at once. If it were common goo masters without the methods of goo immortals, they needed the help of a large tribe to reach this stage, and even then would require six, seven years of searching all over the northern plains. There were all sizes of wolf groups in northern plains. The small wolf groups often only had few hundreds and were not good enough. The large wolf group had tens of. Capturing wolf groups required careful planning, or it was better to not do it. A bitter victory would not work, and only by getting a decisive victory could one get the most harvests. Fang Yuan's current leap to success seemed easy, but actually could be concluded as a Gu Immortal's methods. Chapter 492 Getting Another Mutated Wolf This way, the wolf group's numbers have hit 200,000, but this is still not enough. Fang Yuan's eyes were shining with contemplation. I do not need to gather ordinary wolves by that time, someone will naturally bring them to me. Now I need to prioritize on my upper level battle strength. Although there were beast emperors on sale in Treasure Yellow Heaven occasionally, they would be quickly bought by Gu Immortals after appearing for a short time. Fang Yuan knew that it was not realistic if he wanted to buy a few more wolf emperors. Thus he placed his attention on mutated beasts. Every mature mutated beast had battle strength equivalent to a myriad beast king. Any first-rate enslavement path Gu Master would have a troop of mutated beasts as their trump card and ultimate force. For example, Southern Border's King Quan had a Mastiff group, Zhang Bao Ya had the Mountain Drilling Rat group, Yang Po Ying had the Thunder Eagle group, and Ma Zun had the Pegasus group. There were many wolf-type mutated beasts. At this moment, four types were sold in Treasure Yellow Heaven. The first was Blood Forest Wolf. This wolf had a huge body, almost like a mound. An adult standing beside it would look like a fox standing beside an elephant. 
The blood forest wolf had blood red fur and the fur looked dry like wormwood. On each of their backs, there was a white forest. These trees are actually the blood forest wolf's bones. They protrude from the back and grow vertically upwards. The white bone trees have blood red leaves growing on them. As the trees grow closely to each other, it looked like a blood forest. After a blood forest wolf gives birth, it would send the cub into the blood forest on its back, and the huge space would allow the child to live comfortable. The blood fruits on the trees would provide nutrients for the cub. Blood forest wolf were like mobile fortresses, although they were not fast, they had overwhelming strength. This was something not even myriad beast kings could do. The second type was shark fin wolf. This was both a land and aquatic mutated beast, it looks like an elephant, but there were smooth and shiny crocodile scales on its body. At the same time, there are sharp deep blue fins on the side of their bodies. On their backs, there are rows of fins that resembles a shark's. These fins form a line extending from the wolf's head to its tail. Shark fin wolves had the greatest defense among mutated wolves, at the same time, they could fight underwater. The third was Frenzy Wolf. The Frenzy Wolf has a silver and gray body, it has three eyes and a body that was not large around the same size as Thousand Beast Kings. But those who looked down on it due to its size would often pay a terrible price. Once the Frenzy Wolf battles, it goes into a berserk state, it moves extremely fast and would not stop until the enemy is dead. Especially after its third eye opens, its battle strength will surge by five times. Once the three eyes are open at once, regardless of the battle results, it would die. This was a type of wolf breed that disregards their own body when entering fierce battles. The fourth was the White Eyes Wolf. The eyes of the White Eyes Wolf were pure white. They had extremely good eyesight, even during the night, their vision cannot be obstructed. In Treasure Yellow Heaven, there was one blood forest wolf, three shark fin wolves, two frenzy wolves, and five white eyes wolves on sale. They were all bought by Fang Yuan. At the same time, far away in southern borders shadow sect blessed land, old man Yan Shi squinted his eyes as he stared at the connecting heaven Gu in midair. Fang Yuan bought wolf groups in bulk, even wolf emperors and mutated wolves, it attracted the attention of this wisdom path Gu Immortal. This Fang Yuan, he suddenly bought so many wolves, what is he trying to do? This mysterious rank 7 wisdom path Gu Immortal who had always stayed in the background frowned. He tried using his Gu to make a deduction. But the result was that Fang Yuan wanted to rear wolf groups for profit and business. This result did not satisfy him. Who immortal blessed land's environment is most suited for growing fox groups? Although wolves are similar to foxes, they are different after all. Blessed lands are blessed, they were the land of fortune. But every blessed land was different, they received different blessings. For example, who immortal blessed land was most optimal for raising foxes? Foxes that lived in this area would grow better and breed faster. As for Lang Ya Blessed Land, it was suited for refining goo, the environment was suitable for hairy men to live in. Shadow Sect Blessed Land benefited the cultivation of Soul Path Goo Masters. The instinct deep within his heart told old man Yan Shi that Fang Yuan's actions had much deeper meaning. But Wisdom Path was not all-knowing, it had its weaknesses. Otherwise, Wisdom Path would rule the Gu world, there would not be a scene of variety where many paths flourished. Wisdom Path needed evidence to make deductions. The more evidences they had, the more reliable their deductions would be. The Wisdom Path Gu Master would be guided towards making a more accurate answer. But for old man Yan Shi, although he was a Wisdom Path Gu Immortal, he would never have expected Fang Yuan to be from the future. Old man Yan Shi had deduced that Fang Yuan used fixed immortal travel goo to go to Hu Immortal Blessed Land. But he would never be able to guess that Fang Yuan went to Northern Plains. If Fang Yuan had sold divine travel goo in Treasure Yellow Heaven, he might have been able to make the connection. But Fang Yuan was vigilant, he sold divine travel goo to Langya Blessed Land. 
old man Yan Shi lacked the most critical piece of information, thus his deduction ended up being wrong. He tried for a few more times, but he still received the same result. Do I really have to use my vital goo for this? Old man Yan Shi thought of this as his pores expanded, as traces of cloud smoke flowed out of him. The white cloud smoke rose up and gathered above his head, forming into a rumbling cloud. The cloud was misty, once it appeared, a thick immortal goo aura burst out of it. But this rank 7 immortal goo had an indiscernible aura, it was like the stars in the night sky, there was no way to locate it. It was also like the scent of a lotus from a thousand steps away, the presence was extremely faint. Every time the cloud rumbled, there were infinite changes undergoing inside, there was no way to understand it all. If outsiders forced themselves to comprehend it, they would receive ambiguous answers. This was old man Yan Shi's vital goo heavenly secret. Heavenly secret immortal goo. It could expose the secrets of heaven and earth, even if the goo immortal did not have any evidences or clues, it could directly lead them to the truth. When old man Yan Shi found out that killer ghost doctor was under the slavery goo, he used the heavenly secret goo to deduce that Fang Yuan would one day return to southern border. Thus old man Yan Shi set up this trap and waited for Fang Yuan to come. Right now, old man Yan Shi was hesitating, he was wondering if he should use heavenly secret goo. Although heavenly secret goo was powerful, it had a weakness. Old man Yan Shi would not succeed every time he used it, out of ten tries, at least eight would fail. Once he fails, old man Yan Shi would face the backlash of an immortal goo. If this backlash was common injuries, so be it. But it was extremely powerful and caused anyone to feel fear. Old man Yan Shi's soul and body would be intact, the heavenly secret goo's backlash only targeted his lifespan. Once he faces a backlash, old man Yan Shi would lose 10 to 70 years of his remaining lifespan. A goo master's cultivation to raise his rank did not have any effect on his lifespan. To extend their life, goo masters had one way that was the best, that was lifespan goo. Lifespan goo can be used to increase a goo master's lifespan without any consequences. Other than that, there were other unorthodox methods that could increase lifespan. But each of these methods had either weakness or flaws. My current body has around 80 years of lifespan left. Even the most severe backlash will only take 70 years of my life, I will still have 10 years left, it is enough to execute my heaven-defying plan. But these small matters would usually not give a huge backlash, most likely, I will lose about 13 or 14 years. But, is it worth it for me to use heavenly secret goo for this? This act of defying heaven will definitely be noticed by my enemies when I reach the crucial stage. In the future, I will still need to use heavenly secret goo to predict the future. But if I can get the fixed immortal travel goo that Fang Yuan has, it is a great help towards my plan. Just talk about now, if I had fixed immortal travel goo to attack Lang Ya blessed land, I will be able to attack or retreat at will. What can Lang Ya land spirit do to me? I will not have suffered such a huge loss this time. Old man Yan Shi thought through it and decided to give up. Although heavenly secret goo was powerful, it was a huge trap. The chances of success was simply too low, furthermore, the consequences of failure was too severe. Old man Yan Shi did not want to waste his lifespan for nothing. Back then, in order to deduce that Fang Yuan had fixed immortal travel goo, or where he went, he first spent 70 years and got a result that stunned him for a long time. He was in Central Continent. He was in Hu Immortal Blessed Land. How did he get there? What opportunity did he get in order to get a visual image of Hu Immortal Blessed Land? Okay, Fang Yuan started hiding inside the Blessed Land and refused to come out. Old man Yan Shi's plan to take fixed immortal travel goo flopped before it even began. But thankfully, he used heavenly secret goo and expended another 80 years of his lifespan to find the most possible opportunity to strike. In the future, on some day, Fang Yuan will return to southern border and join the Battle of Yitian Mountain. For this fixed immortal travel goo, old man Yan Shi spent 150 years of his life. 
Never mind, since I got the results already, I shall wait here for him. The matter of him raising wolves is not a concern. As a wisdom path goo immortal, how can a mere mortal escape from a scheme that I made myself? He <laughs> he. Old man Yan she snickered as he opened his eyes. His eyes were like the white eyes wolf. There were no pupils, only white color. He stared at connecting heaven goo, his lips becoming more curled as he said, You are a mere mortal, but you wasted a hundred and fifty years of my life. In the future when you die from my plot, it will be your greatest honor. But now, don't think you will have a good time. Old man Yan she worked for a while, very quickly, Fang Yuan felt something amiss inside who immortal blessed land. Oh no, someone is buying the materials for refining wolf enslavement goo in bulk. Fang Yuan wanted to buy these materials, but old man Yan she was a step ahead of him. He quickly tried to buy them, but faced much obstruction. A number of Gu Immortal purposely raised the prices against him, causing him to spend a lot more, and the total amount of materials he procured was less than expected. Fang Yuan squinted, his gaze sharp like a needle. Someone is intentionally making problems for me. HMPH, it can't be Lang Yalan spirit, it does not have such influence. Then, other than Immortal Crane Sect, it can only be that mysterious old man Yanshi. He <laughs> he. Suddenly, Fang Yuan laughed. If it was before, he would be helpless against such a situation. But now, it was different. He had a large number of wolf enslavement goo recipes. These recipes ranged from rank 1 to 5, and at every rank, there were different types of wolf enslavement goo recipes. These materials that the Goo Immortals obstructed him from getting were merely materials in ordinary wolf enslavement Goo recipes. Many Goo recipes had innovative ideas and took different routes, especially Lang Yalan Spirit's personal recipes. How could these Goo Immortals understand the use of these materials? Chapter 493 Surge in Battle Strength A moment later HMPH, Fang Yuan's gaze was cold as he memorized these Gu Immortals' names. Dio Su, Great Immortal Ju Shi, Dian Huang Tianmu. Old Man Yan Shi, so it was you. He finally understood who the people finding problems with him were. Because most of these Gu Immortals were the ones who attacked Lang Ya Blessed Land back in his previous life, according to his memories. These Gu Immortals mostly come from Northern Plains, but there are also some from Southern Borders, Eastern Sea, Western Desert, and Central Continent. If I count Old Man Yan Shi as well, this hidden and mysterious Gu Immortal organization is truly huge. Because of this uncommon clash, Fang Yuan learnt about many secret details, he was secretly shocked. What kind of force was it, who created it? In his previous life, he had absolutely no idea about it, he was kept in the dark. Such a huge force was hiding in the background, they were not a simple poisonous snake, but a ferocious tiger hidden behind the trees. What were they planning, what was their motive? In the future developments, during the Battle of the Five Regions, what influence did they have in all of these events? As for old man Yan Shi, what was his role in this mysterious organization? Thinking back about their earlier strife, while it seemed like they were aggressively attacking, they did not use their full strength after all, they had perfect control over their actions. Outsiders would not have sensed anything, they would only think of this as an ordinary contest. Even himself, if not for his 500 years of memories, he would only think that he was unlucky and faced fierce competition when procuring materials. They struck secretly, interfering with him, and found that they could not stop him, thus they stopped. The entire assault was like throwing a rock into the water. After several ripples, the water surface returned to normal. Fang Yuan was clear in his heart, he could escape from their assault this time because of Lang Ya Lan Spirit's recipes, but that was only a foundation. Most importantly, the other party did not want to expose themselves or attract any suspicions, thus they did not go all out. Although Fang Yuan was a Gu immortal in his previous life, he was only a mortal now. Although he had one blessed land, he could not compete against the cooperation of two Gu immortals, as well as such a mysterious and powerful force. 
The reason why I attracted the attention of old man Yan Shi is most likely due to fixed immortal travel goo. Fang Yuan thought to himself. Back then, he used a mortal body to refine an immortal goo in front of everyone, it was simply too glaring and attention-catching. Immortal goo were something not many goo immortals had. Not to mention fixed immortal travel goo, such a top-tier rank 6 goo. Naturally, it would attract the greed of goo immortals. The problem was that high profile he had. But Fang Yuan had no choice back then, the situation forced him to do so. This also resulted in the best outcome, there was no better way out of it. After such a long time, I'm sure the news have spread already. Immortal Crane Sect is definitely investigating this thoroughly, but that is a good thing. The clearer they investigate this, the more they would learn about me. I am only about 30 years old, I am a vagabond from a destroyed small mid-sized clan, I am a lone cultivator, or rather, I am a demonic goo master. As such a person with low aptitude and lacking resources, I actually managed to learn about who immortal blessed land scenery and was able to refine an immortal goo. How is that possible? This is like an ant becoming a giant and swallowing an elephant, or a pig that grew wings and flew even higher than eagles. Or using a phrase from Earth, this is scientifically impossible. This way, they will definitely deduce that there's an expert behind me. Someone of this level has to be a strong and mysterious goo immortal. I am merely a chess piece that this person is using behind the scenes. And because of this, if they want to deal with me, they will have to consider the person behind me or the organization backing me up. What if this background organization is a group of people, a super clan, or a super sect? Nobody knows. Any person would want to investigate the unknown to use all means to learn about their enemies. Before they investigate clearly, as long as I hide inside who immortal blessed land and do not do anything overbearing, they will only try to probe me but would not truly go all out. Fang Yuan's thoughts moved like waves, sparked like flint rocks, as he evaluated his current situation. Of course, this is only temporary. Paper cannot cover up a fire, once they find out the truth, or lose their patience, my trouble would come. The moment Immortal Crane sect attacks who Immortal Blessed Land, the best outcome for Fang Yuan is to self-detonate the Blessed Land and make both sides suffer a huge loss, nobody will obtain Dang Hun Mountain in that case. After losing the protection of his Blessed Land, Fang Yuan would be hunted down by everyone. Thus, he was using the identity of Chang Shan Yin as a future backup plan to leave a way out for himself. A crafty rabbit makes three homes as a demonic lord in his time, Fang Yuan understood this clearly. After collecting his thought, Fang Yuan sighed. He had to cultivate quickly, it would be best if he reached Gu Immortal stage once again before Immortal Crane Sect and the mysterious force struck. But even so, it would still be a great danger. If he could not survive it, he would be smashed to bits and end up in the pitiful state of eternal rest. The pressure is great. Even though Fang Yuan obtained the greatest benefits back at Three Kings' blessed land because of his actions, he lost the initiative. Spring Autumn Cicada, Immortal Crane Sect, Dang Hun Mountain, Mysterious Force, Earthly Calamity of the Blessed Land. Even though he obtained Who Immortal Blessed Land and his strength soared because of it, he was in even greater danger now. All the intense and precarious situations are pressuring him step by step, like a whip or a scythe, driving him to move forward. If he slows down for even a moment, the outcome would be unthinkable. If it were others, they would have exhausted their mind and body, crushed into pulp by such despairing circumstances. Only Fang Yuan, by racking his brain and thinking out of the box, could manage to find a chance of survival amidst looming disaster. But even though he tried so hard, the situation was not taking a turn for the better. Like now, he was facing a new problem. Immortal essence stones were running out. He had first sold large numbers of immortal goo recipes and obtained 28 immortal essence stones. But after some purchases, especially the current bulk purchase, his spending was too high and his funds were running out. Right now, Fang Yuan had four immortal essence stones left. 
but there were too many areas he needed to invest in. Helpless, he had to stop investing in the wolf groups. But Fang Yuan's original plan was to dual cultivate strength and enslavement path. Now that he had a second aperture, this plan was taking form. Three things dictated an enslavement path Gu Master's strength. Firstly, it was the size of the enslaved beast group. Secondly, it was the enslavement path Gu Worms that the Gu Master had. The third was the enslavement path Gu Master's soul. The deeper the foundation of their soul, the more beasts they could enslave and the stronger beast kings they could control. The time that they could manipulate beast groups to battle would lengthen as well. After my purchase, my wolf group size is already second rate in Northern Plains Mortal Plain. The first rate enslavement masters are still the three of them Ma Zun, Jiang Bao Ya, and Yang Po Ying. But my enslavement path Gu Worms were all from Chang Shan Yin. They are only rank four, I have to get them to rank five so as to deal with the great battle in Northern Plains. Thankfully, despite Dang Hun Mountain's slow death, it can still be used. With Guts Gu, my expenditure is greatly reduced, but other than that, I still need large numbers of Wolf Soul Gu to improve my Wolfman Soul. Facing his cultivation requirements, the Immortal Essence Stones in Fang Yuan's possession seemed lacking. Bulking purchasing wolves only fulfilled one of the three aspects in Fang Yuan's enslavement cultivation. Next, he bought a few more goo recipes in Treasure Yellow Heaven, as well as many refinement materials and the rank 5 wolf soul goo that he desperately needed, getting a total of 18. This way, he spent another immortal essence stone, he only had three left. Fang Yuan placed his sights on Relic Goo next. His second aperture goo was just formed, it is only rank 1 initial stage, it had to cultivate from the beginning. But where would Fang Yuan get the time to cultivate? By using Relic Goo to boost the cultivation level, he could bring out this second aperture's usefulness in the short run. Even though he had such intentions, the Immortal Essence Stones were almost used up already, Fang Yuan could only buy the green copper, red steel, white silver, and yellow gold Relic Goo. Next, he chose the body modification Goo Worm. The body is like a sack, it holds the soul. When the soul is strong, while the body is unable to hold it, it would form a bottleneck, and the soul's growth would be halted. Similarly, if the body was not strong enough, the one had to be careful when using strength path goo worms. If they overexerted themselves, they might break their own bones and tear their flesh before even hitting the enemy. After Fang Yuan finished his transaction, he had only two immortal essence stones left. These two stones were kept to deal with emergency situations. For the next two days, Fang Yuan did not leave Hu Immortal Blessed Land he cultivated on Dang Han Mountain. This is the final guts goo. On a cliff, Fang Yuan grabbed this goo. Splat. With a crisp sound, yellow-brown mud flowed out. This was a rotten goo, its body was corroded by the gruel mud immortal goo. It lost the ability to enhance souls. Dang Hun Mountain's vitality is falling, the number of intact guts goo is dropping as well. But after these few days of strengthening, due to the huge number, my soul still managed to reach thousand man soul. Fang Yuan closed his eyes, feeling the soul in his body. This thousand man soul was much more solid than before, it gave off a dense feeling. Almost as if it was stuffed inside Fang Yuan's body, it gave a feeling of almost bursting out. Thousand Man Soul was the signature trademark of an enslavement expert. Back then, Chang Shan Yin had Thousand Man Soul. Fang Yuan opened his eyes with a thought. He called Little Hu Immortal and teleported himself into Dang Hun Palace. Sitting on his cushion, he took out a white silver relic goo. Through his earlier tests, there was no problems with this relic goo. Thus Fang Yuan injected his primeval essence into it. A moment later, he opened his eyes, after inspecting the second aperture, he nodded in satisfaction. Second aperture has reached rank 3 peak stage 2. This way, Fang Yuan's first aperture was rank 5 peak stage, having crystal purple primeval essence. Second aperture was rank 3 peak stage, having snow silver primeval essence.
Although Snow Silver Primeval Essence could not compare to Crystal Purple Primeval Essence, it could still provide some help to Fang Yuan. After all, in the Northern Plains contest for the Imperial Court, rank 3 Gu Masters were the absolute vital force. After I use the Yellow Gold Relic Gu, I will reach rank 4 peak stage, that would be the best. Of course, the happiest thing is that the second aperture gives me the option for another vital goo. This way, I alone can have two vital goo. Chapter 494 All of you get lost. Throwing aside expendable goo, a goo master's first choice of a goo worm would become their vital goo. The relation between vital goo and a goo master were very close. One could even say their lives were connected. No matter which side was injured, the other side would also be implicated. Vital Goo had one advantage which other Goo did not have that was no matter how severe the backlash was after Goo refinement failure, the Vital Goo would still preserved. Thus, most Goo Masters would regard the Vital Goo as their core Goo. Generally, the Goo Masters' strongest Goo Worm is their Vital Goo. Once a Vital Goo forms, it would be difficult to change it. But that was not absolute. If the Goo Master found an extremely good Goo Worm and wanted to cultivate it as their Vital Goo, they could destroy their original Vital Goo. But this type of action was extremely dangerous. Once the Vital Goo was destroyed, the Goo Master would suffer enormous backlash. At the least, they would suffer heavy injuries and the worst outcome meant death. After rebirth, Fang Yuan's vital goo was Spring Autumn Cicada, which had been hibernating in the center of his first aperture with no movement. Now, he had a second aperture and had a chance to choose a second vital goo. He had been able to guess this from the goo recipe, but Fang Yuan was still happy after truly finding that it gave him this chance to choose. Which goo should I choose as my second vital goo? Immortal goo could be taken out of the equation. Fang Yuan's second aperture was only a rank 3 mortal aperture, unable to store immortal goo. Spring Autumn Cicada was a special situation. Besides Spring Autumn Cicada, Fang Yuan also had two other immortal goo fixed immortal travel and gruel mud. But immortal goo gruel mud was an expendable goo. If he made it his vital goo, after it is used up, Fang Yuan will suffer heavy backlash. Fang Yuan naturally would not do such a stupid thing. As for fixed immortal travel, it was far away at the poisonous grassland, so there was no need to mention it. Without much hesitation, Fang Yuan made his decision. It was rank 3 all-out effort Gu. He was cultivating strength path and enslavement path. All-out effort Gu was a must and was also the most ideal core of the strength path. Previously, Fang Yuan intended to use undefeated 100 battles Gu to ensure the safety of the all-out effort Gu during Gu refinement. But due to many reasons, and because of the situation, Fang Yuan had no choice but to use undefeated 100 battles Gu to refine immortal Gu fixed immortal travel. As long as all-out effort Gu became his second vital Gu, Fang Yuan would no longer need to worry losing this precious Gu worm after Gu refinement failure. Two days passed in an instant. Fang Yuan returned to the northern plains through Stargate Gu. The time flow in Hu Immortal Blessed Land was five times faster than the outside world. Fang Yuan had spent two days in the Blessed Land, but only a night had passed in northern plains. It was crack of dawn. From the edge of the sky, gentle purple and white colors started to appear. As the sun started to rise, the grass started to gradually look glossy green from the previously dark color. The crescent lake reflected the dazzling sunlight and sparkled. The light of dawn shone upon Fang Yuan's face, he smiled and looked at the side. The sparse wolf group was once again replenished with many white wolf figures. These were water wolves with a size that crossed 10,000. A water wolf myriad beast king led them along with 6,000 wolf kings under it. As for the vermilion flame wolf group, night wolf group, mutated beasts, and so on, Fang Yuan did not bring them. It would be too abrupt and conspicuous if he brought them all out at once. Fang Yuan was disguising as Chang Shan Yin and wanted to properly manage this identity. Thus he had to avoid such exposing actions. Water wolves were different. 
This action was proclaiming he was taking in wild water wolves. The water wolves appearance was easily explained. But if night wolf beast emperor or those mutated wolves appeared, it would make no sense. I will have to continue taking in the wild water wolf groups. Fang Yuan rode on the hump wolf, and with a thought, the whole wolf group again moved out majestically towards the next destination. Three days later, on a certain area beside the Crescent Lake, Gu masters from two tribes were furiously looking at each other. Zhang Feiyu, your Zhang tribe is too much of a bully. These five black-skinned fat beetles are clearly our tribe's goods, but you actually dare to seize it out in the open. One tribe's tribe leader Chai Zhang shouted. Bullshit, we have already agreed to our territories with this water wolf nest as the boundary. And this is our Chai tribe's territory. As these five black-skinned fat beetles have come to our Zhang tribe's territory, they naturally become ours. Zhang tribe leader Zhang Fei Yu sneered. Chai tribe's goo masters were furious at such words. Chai Zhang's face even flushed with anger as he lashed out, Shameless, our Chai tribe is moving out our camp to hurry to the hero's assembly, and naturally we need to pass through this place. Zhang Fei Yu's eyes shone with a chilly light as he grinned. So this is your Chai tribe's mistake. You could have detoured this place, why would you walk into my tribe's campground? Chai tribe's goo masters were raging. Zhang tribe camp was placed at a tricky position, occupying the main road. It would be even more troublesome if Chai tribe was to take a detour. The way around had at least three myriad beast groups. Zhang tribe's action was intentionally extorting them. Zhang Feiyu, aren't your actions too unsightly? Chai Zhang gnashed his teeth. Zhang Feiyu shrugged his shoulders without concern, laughing coldly. If your Chai tribe doesn't accept it, we can fight it out. Cha tribe's Gu master's momentum slowed down. Chai tribe was a small-scale tribe, while Zhang tribe had expanded into a mid-scale tribe two years ago. Zhang tribe was strong. If they fought, Chai tribe would definitely suffer. As the Chai tribe's leader, Chai Zhang was naturally clear of this. He had thought of retreating but three of these black-skinned fat beetles were holding their tribe's most precious goods. These goods had been meticulously gathered and were what the Chai tribe wanted to use with to side with Liu Wen Wu. If he had to give them up, Chai Zhang was of course very unwilling. In the end, should he fight or retreat? Just as the two sides were in a stalemate and Chai Zhang was hesitating, from far away wolf howls resounded. Howl, howl. Wolf howls came one after another endlessly. At the same time, the sounds of a large number of beasts rushing forward were also transmitted to everyone. This lineup. Wolf group. It is noon right now and the water wolf's nest is nearby. How could a wild wolf group come here? Zhang tribe and Chai tribe's people shifted their gaze towards the location of the sound, as if they were facing a great enemy. They soon saw the majestic wolf army rushing towards them like a river through the sparse jungle. In this wolf group, there were strong night wolves, the defensive turtleback wolves, outstanding wind wolves, and the white fur water wolves, which were the majority. Different from other wolf groups, they were moving harmoniously like an army. There was only one reason for this. Chai Zhang's heart thumped as he immediately thought of a person Chang Shan Yin. Zhang Fei Yu's expression became extremely unsightly. Their Zhang tribe also wanted to side with Lord Liu Wen Wu. Thus they were coveting after these goods of Chai tribe, but they had never thought someone would upset the whole situation at the crucial moment. As the wolf group approached closer, the Gu masters of the two tribes became restless. Such a large wolf group? Someone could not help exclaiming in shock. Gasp, this scale, there are at least 28,000 turtleback wolves, 15,000 night wolves, and the wind wolves are even more than the night wolves. The water wolves are the largest with about 32,000. Someone drew in a cold breath and calculated the numbers with his rich experience. The wolf group size was really too big. They spread open grandly, forming a half-moon-shaped formation and covering the two tribes. Zhang tribe and Chai tribe's Gu masters were instantly surrounded, and with the Crescent Lake behind them, they were in an unfavorable situation. 
Didn't they say Chang Shan Yin suffered huge losses after attacking Pei, Bei and Zheng tribes? Why does he still have so many wolves left? Chai Zhang's lips turned dry. The dense wolf group not only covered them, there were still many of them left who were hiding in the forest, their figures indistinct. Zhang Fei you could not keep up his relaxed attitude from before. He looked at the large numbers of thousand beast kings and myriad beast kings among the wolf group. His heart stuck in his throat. Enslavement path was different from other paths. They could change the situation with just a lone force normal enslavement path. Gu masters were already people who should not be underestimated, let alone Chang Shan Yin. Zhang Fei Yu understood clearly that these wolf groups were enough to annihilate their Zhang tribe two three times over and still have enough strength left, simply because they were in the wild with no obstacles to rely on. They did not have the walls of their camp, they were not in formation, they did not have time to rest and also no time to recover their primeval essence. One hump wolf carrying Fang Yuan on its back leisurely walked out of the thin forest. Chang Shan Yin, Zhang Fei Yu and Chai Zhang similarly called out. In an instant countless eyes gathered on Fang Yuan's face. Fang Yuan expressionlessly rode on the hump wolf with his back upright just like Chang Shan Yin's habit. His sharp gaze swept through everyone. He did not speak, but his closed lips was sufficient to display Chang Shan Yin's proud and aloof aura vividly. Zhang tribe and Chai tribe's Gu masters were silent. They only felt an enormous rock pressing down on their heart. The atmosphere seemed to freeze and made it difficult for them to breathe. Especially when they thought of the wolf king Chang Shan Yin challenging three tribes in one night, many started to shiver. Pei, Bei and Zheng tribe had been mid-scale tribe for long time. While Chai tribe was only a small-scale tribe and Zhang tribe had only advanced to mid-scale tribe not long ago. Zhang Feiyu and Chai Zheng glanced at each other, seeing the graveness and the intent to cooperate in each other's eyes. The two were similarly agonized, just now they were both about to fight and now they had the hearts to ally. This play of fate really made one not know whether to cry or laugh. Lord Chang Shan Yin, your fame is well known to me, Zhang Fei Yu. Zhang Fei Yu gritted his teeth and bowed deeply towards Fang Yuan. No one felt that the Grand Tribe Leader Zhang Fei Yu's action was inappropriate. The other was Chang Shan Yin, but Zhang Fei Yu had yet to finish speaking when Fang Yuan waved his hand and indifferently said, All of you get lost, don't block me. Zhang Fei Yu's eyes widened, his eyes showing an unconcealable humiliation. But he did not retort and instead lowered his head, bowing towards Fang Yuan again before turning around to his Zhang tribesmen, retreat. Chai Zhang discerned the situation and also immediately shouted, We are also retreating. Immediately, both the tribes started retreating far away. Soon, the crowded lakeside only had the wolf groups and Fang Yuan, one person. Of course, there were also those three slow-moving black-skinned fat beetles. Fang Yuan glanced at these three black-skinned fat beetles without interest. The things the two tribes were fighting for did not have enough attractive force towards him. He waved his hand and the water wolf group immediately rushed into the water, circling and attacking the water wolf nest here. Chapter 495, Gray White Stone Slab The water wolf den here had 4,000 water wolves, it was a thousand beast group. Although water wolves rarely stepped foot on land, when their homes were invaded, that would be another issue. After sensing Fang Yuan's wolf group approaching, this group of wild water wolves attacked together, engaging with Fang Yuan's wolves. Facing obstruction, Fang Yuan's wolf group stopped their movement. But he snorted, activating Wolf Howl Gu, sending three groups of reinforcements to help. The wild water wolves only managed to hold on for a moment before being unable to hold the pressure, immediately overwhelmed as they lost completely. Far away. Tribe leader, our things are still there. A Chai tribe elder looked indignantly. Chai tribe leader sighed deeply. Never mind, let it be, it is better than losing our lives. Shouldn't we stay and watch? 
a person like Chang Shan Yin, he might not be interested in these three black skin fat armor worms. Another Chai tribe elder was still hopeful. But Chai Zhang understood the truth, he snorted. If you are not worried about offending Chang Shan Yin and attracting his slaughter, then stay. This Chai tribe elder's face froze. HMPH this idea, do you think Zhang tribe can't think of it? Even if Chang Shan Yin doesn't want them, we will not be able to take these resources. Sai, with such an expert like Chang Shan Yin here, we can't stay in Crescent Lake any longer, we should set off now and leave quickly. Chai Zhang waved his hand, his tone filled with helplessness, but also anger and weakness. Chai tribe was only a small-sized tribe, they were weak. Especially with the ten-year blizzard approaching, as well as the fight for the imperial court, it will be an era of turmoil where northern plains is engulfed in battles and chaos. A tribe like Chai tribe was like a tiny boat amidst the chaos, being blown by the winds and waves, they can only ride on weakly. Only by clinging onto a stronger force can they increase their chance of survival. Chai tribe left after packing up, without a bit of delay. A moment later, Zhang tribe's investigative goo master reported to Zhang Feiyu with some afterfear. Lord, Wolf King was victorious, with just a wave of his hand, he exterminated that wolf den. Out of the 4,000 water wolves, he recruited 3,000, yet he only lost 300. Zhang Feiyu and the Zhang tribe higher-ups shuddered upon hearing this. Such loss to gain ratio was terrifying. No wonder this Wolf King's wolf group could be replenished so quickly. Lord Tribe Leader, you did not see personally, Chang Shan Yin's manipulation was otherworldly, he is truly skilled. Investigative Gu Master wiped the sweat off his forehead as he added. Zhang Fei Yu snorted, refusing to put his own tribe down, shamelessly saying, Chang Shan Yin has a water wolf myriad beast king. The leader of this group of wild wolves is only a thousand beast king. Once they battle, the water wolf group would face great suppression, their battle strength would be weakened. It is easy to recruit them because of them. What about those three black skin fat armor beetles? The investigative Gu master answered, they were all taken by Chang Shan Yin. Chang Fei Yu's expression turned ugly. He tried to steal a chicken only to end up losing the rice used to lure it one. Not only did he fail to get the resources, he even made an enemy out of Chai tribe. Speaking of which, Chai tribe and Zhang tribe were in laws, they had a close relationship. Otherwise, they would not have moved together, and when they set up camp, they chose to live closely to each other, to look out for one another. But the world is cruel. Right now, the imperial court competition was not just about benefits for Zhang tribe and Chai tribe, it was about their survival. Their relationship was only a method to defend their interests. When it was time to abandon the other, they would do so without hesitation. In the main tent, there was a pressurizing silence. Long after, Zhang Feiyu sighed. A person like Chang Shan Yin, even if we gather all our strength, we cannot compete against him. But Northern Plains is not his alone, there are three enslavement masters stronger than him. We will note down this battle, and after we go to Lord Liu Wen Wu one day, we will take revenge. Zhang tribe elders nodded in agreement. Not long after, Zhang tribe set off as well. Using a total of nine days, Fang Yuan led the wolf group that had expanded drastically in size back to Ji tribe camp. Ji Guang led the Ji tribe higher-ups as he went out to welcome Fang Yuan back. Lord Supreme Elder, your cultivation recovered. When Ji Guang felt Fang Yuan's rank 4 peak stage aura, he was shocked and delighted. Fang Yuan nodded, replying plainly, It recovered, it was about time anyway. Back then, Chang Shan Yin's cultivation was rank 4 peak stage. Later, he fought a grand battle with Hatu Gu and was injured to the point of nearing death, going into hibernation. But now, Fang Yuan's first aperture had reached rank 5 peak stage. Even with Northern Plains suppression, he still had rank 5 initial stage aura. His current rank 4 peak stage aura was only due to the effect of breath concealment Gu. 
As for his second aperture, because it first appeared in Northern Plains, there was no suppression and it was still rank three peak stage. Keeping it secret for now, and then slowly releasing the aura, not only could be keep it as a trump card, he could even allow others to gradually accept his improvement without suspicion. Fang Yuan followed the G tribe higher ups back to camp. G tribe camp was expanding, along the way construction could be seen everywhere. Large numbers of mortal slaves, or even Goo Master slaves, were being mercilessly utilized. Winner takes all, this was the cruelty of war, and also the beauty of it. G Tribe higher ups were cheerful and joyous, after G Tribe took down Bei Tribe and Zheng Tribe, they expanded greatly as they tried to digest this newfound force, the entire tribe's strength had increased greatly. The biggest problem now is the lack of slavery goo. If we had large numbers of slavery goo, we could send these slave goo masters into battle. This will greatly increase our battle strength, Ji Guang exclaimed. Slavery goo was a goo worm that could control people. But man is the spirit of all being, they were much harder to manipulate than beasts. The burden on the soul was greater, especially when enslaving goo masters with strong soul. Thus, in general, a goo master rarely controlled more than five slaves. As for slave goo masters, the numbers were fewer. Normally, a goo master could only control one slave goo master any more and the burden on their soul would be too much. As for those slave goo masters with strong souls, to control them, one soul had to be even stronger. Fang Yuan naturally had the ability to get lots of slavery goo. But if he did so, he would expose many things. G Tribe was only a chess piece in his plans, he did not need to worry for them to that extent. Next, I need to continue cultivating in seclusion. You will help me feed this wolf group. Fang Yuan spoke. Yes. Ji Guang quickly replied, but his heart was crying out. Now that Ji Tribe was expanding, they were facing a huge lack of manpower. The wolf group was too huge, the burden of feeding them would be great. This would expend a lot of labor for Ji Tribe. But Fang Yuan's next sentence made this young Ji tribe leader joyous. I brought a lot of resources back this time, they were obtained when I was hunting wolves. Use them as you wish, but remember, the things on those three black skin fat armor beetles are mine, safeguard them for me properly. Yes, Lord Supreme Elder. For the next few days, Fang Yuan stayed inside Ji tribe camp, cultivating bitterly in seclusion. His second aperture's cultivation level needed to increase. Although he had thousand man soul, he still needed wolf soul goo to strengthen himself, becoming a thousand man soul level wolfman soul. At the same time, his strength path also needed improvement. He needed to continue using Jun's strength goo. When he needed to relax, he would take out the items on those three black skin fat armor beetles and inspect them. These resources that Chai tribe painstakingly gathered were very strange, they were all gray-white stone slabs. But the surface of these stone slabs were filled with black ink lines. Some were straight while others were curled, there were thin and thick lines. The lines were drawn over one another, some looked like letters while others looked like drawings of scenery. If these stone slabs were real, that would be a huge deal. Tracing their source, they were from the immemorial era, Ren Zhu's ninth daughter, Carefree Wisdom Heart. States that in order to save Wisdom Gu, Carefree Wisdom Heart came to the Kyan Kun Crystal Wall. Kyan Kun Crystal Wall was straight from top to bottom. It floated in mid-air like a giant mirror. In the mirror, there was a book mountain. On the book mountain, there was an ink waterfall landing on the mountain rocks to form a literature spring. The ink waterfall continued to flow, as it landed on the literature spring water splashed about. These black color splashes flew in the air as the water droplets formed into words. This was the origin of the Hundred Clan writing system in the Goo Master world. After Kyan Kun crystal wall was broken, it turned into numerous gray-white stone slabs. Legends say that if one gathered all of the stone slabs, they could piece back Kyan Kung Crystal Wall and the Goo Master would be able to enter Book Mountain again. 
If one looked at the history of humanity, they would find that generations of goo masters, goo immortals, or even immortal and demon venerables collected these stone slabs before. Precisely so, large numbers of counterfeit stone slabs appeared quickly. These fake stone slabs were indistinguishable to real stone slabs unless the goo master was an experienced appraiser. In history, the most authoritative and accomplished appraiser goo immortal was Treasure Yellow Heaven's owner, Taoist Countless Treasure who owned Treasure Light Goo. But even he could only identify them with an accuracy of 70 to 80%. There were simply too many fake stone slabs, too many goo masters tried making fakes, even Thieving Heaven Demon Venerable himself. Thieving Heaven Demon Venerable purposely created many fakes and scammed many goo immortals. The fakes that he made were very convincing. They could even surpass the real deal. Fang Yuan had never thought of collecting all the stone slabs and restoring Book Mountain. Even a rank 9 Gu Venerable did not succeed, Fang Yuan had no such drive to waste his effort. He was only resting now and tried appraising these stone slabs. In his previous life, he had trained his eyes to be discerning, he had also once sold and created these fake stone slabs. Right now, he tried appraising these stone slabs, removing the fakes, it was a form of relaxation. But unexpectedly, just when he was playing with one of the stone slabs, something happened. This stone slab that he had evaluated to be a fake, after Fang Yuan injected his primeval essence, the ink lines started to move mystically.